Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There we go. Pro intro. Uh, and what we're going to do today is we're going to keep working with the pause menu. Now it isn't much, but we do have a menu that we can pause. And uh, there are a few things we got to do. So we got to go into game state and we got to make sure that we can uh, update inputs for the pause menu and update inputs for the uh, mouse positions and stuff outside of this pause thing. Okay, if it's if it's paused as well and all that stuff. So there's a few things that are going to update all the time that aren't dependent on the pause or unpaused. And that's going to be the update uh, update input is going to be uh, for the player and stuff, player update, play P menu update, but we're going to make another pause menu update uh, for the input. So I'm going to go into game state.h and I'm going to make another void update paused input cons float dt. Okay. And this is going to basically be for anything that is anything that is uh, that is paused and I still want to update it. So that's pretty much going to be this close thing. I'm just going to control X that out of here and I'm going to put it in here. So that is going to pause it. I'm going to remove the comments as well. So it's going to pause and unpause my stuff. Okay, very, very simple and nice. And then I'm going to do this um, update paused input. Uh, or I'm, actually, I got to put this up here because this is going to be. Um, let's change some names. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to change some names. This isn't going to be update paused input. This is just going to be update input. Okay. And the other one is going to be update player input. Okay. So that makes a little more sense for me or to me. Update player input and then update input because everything with this has to do with the player. And this has to do with the the state itself, okay? And that is going to be up here, where we're just gonna go ahead and update it, no matter what, with the DT. And this is gonna be update player. Don't forget to rename this to player input here, otherwise you won't update this. And that is only gonna work when it's unpaused. But when it's paused, we're gonna do the P menu update, and we'll have all of these things here. And the mouse positions need to be updated because we're going to be checking if we're pressing on the buttons, right? And basically, yeah, we need to do that because otherwise you won't be able to get the right mouse positions to see if you're hovering and clicking on a button or not. So there you go. That's it. Now let's just run this. Let's try. It's rendering and everything, so it should be fine. Um, like this. Init keybinds. Cool, cool. Okay, new game. So I'm running, I'm running, I paused it, and I unpaused it, paused it. Um, see how fast that is? I don't wanna I don't want it to be that fast, to be honest. You know, we gotta make a little timer for this. So so yeah, we're probably gonna do that. Um But yeah, at least that shows up and that's cool. I don't know why this isn't I mean why it is the way it is, um why it's that big. What if we do minus 100 and then set it to 30? Let's see. So minus 100 and we set it to 30. Okay, that for some reason that worked. I don't know why, but it did. That looks okay. Cool. Now another thing we're going to need in our pause menu is going to be a, a font. Okay, we're going to need a font pointer, sf font, um, pointer font, and or a reference actually, because we're going to force the font, we need a font to make a, uh, a pause menu, also a sf text, p menu text, let's just call it menu text, doesn't really matter, and there we go, and then once we initialize our pause menu, we're going to force the window, and we're going to force a sf font reference 
font here as well like that because our pause menu is basically going to have a big text saying pause paused or something uh, i'm just going to put it right there background in a container in it text and the text is going to basically be um let's see font it's a reference right mm, font font okay cool so we set the font that's cool in it text this menu text dot set font 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 boom this menu text dot set Fill color, SF color 255, uh, 255, and maybe 200, a little, a little transparent. This menu text dot set character size. Probably gonna set it to like 30 right now, just for now. Uh, this menu text dot set string. Uh, we're just gonna say paused. All right. We're probably gonna put it up at the top. So this menu text dot set position this container dot get position. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it up top just because basically um, we won't we won't center it right now. Basically that's just to see that it's printing out. And then we need to draw it as well. So we need to do target dot draw uh, this text. Whoops menu text mm, I don't want to put this in front of these so I know what's going on okay okay so now I'm actually drawing the text and stuff we just need to make sure that we're setting a font for for this uh, for this thing so init p menu window font Let's see how I do the font in the main menu state. I do have a font. I'm going to put that in the game state.h. Um, where do I have it again? It's around the, all the background stuff. It doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm just going to put it up, all the way up top. Uh, the font. And then I have a init font function is going to copy paste that directly in the game cpp do that right in between init fonts this font load from file okay and then we need to actually define this function in the game state dot h right between these two mm, void and as soon as that updates we should be good okay so now we're initializing fonts if we just call it in here don't forget to call it init fonts now we do have a nice font here hmm but that font won't be loaded i think because that will be called afterwards hmm So we got to do it like this, guys and girls. We got to do this. We got to make a P menu pointer. And we got to do this dynamic memory style. Um, so we're going to have to do a dynamic memory style. Uh, yep. What do we have? Init textures. Void init pause menu. Like this. Just define this private function. So that's cool. We'll have a little function that defines it for us helps us out so there we go uh, this in it fonts textures after textures this in it pause menu and then player basically this is some core stuff then I'm gonna remove this P menu thing right here and I'm actually going to say this P menu equals new pause menu and then use this window the referenced and this font okay 
And in the destructor, we're just going to go ahead and do delete this P menu. Don't forget to delete it. And pretty much, pretty much, pretty good. So init pause menu, P menu, game state.h. Okay, seems fine, seems fine. Now we're just going to have to make sure we uh, do the arrow symbols wherever we need them. So I think it's just update and render, pretty much. And if we run this, hopefully we'll see the text that says paused and we'll see our pause menu and the game will be paused as well. So that is uh, very nice, very nice. Hopefully, hopefully I'll see it. It does say paused. It does say paused. I just need to make it a lot bigger and put it in the center. So let's just do that before we end the video. Uh, pause menu. Let's make it a lot bigger. Let's make it double the size and then we're just going to say container that get position X and then this container that get position Y. Get position Y plus maybe 20.f and that is the Y thingy. And the X is going to be basically in the center. So um, plus this container that get position no get size dot x divided by two so that will be at the center okay at the center and then minus this um, menu text dot get size get global bounds dot width divided by 2.f so we're gonna move it to the right and then we're gonna move it a little bit more to the left hopefully that will be centered so let's just try that out that is centered so now it says paused just like I wanted to and then we're gonna have a bunch of buttons and everything and we're gonna make that in the next video all right before I leave you I'm just gonna Put that down like 40 instead. 40. There you go. Okay, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Check out the uh, description box, all that stuff. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.